the muscles of the posterior leg. That is the back of the leg. Our first muscle is gastrocnemius. It is the most superficial muscle of the posterior distal leg. Okay, it runs from the ankle or the Achilles tendon to just above the knee, the femur. That's where it attaches. It's superficial, deep to gastrocnemius is the soleus. Okay, the soleus is deep to gastrocnemius. Moving proximally, we have the hamstring muscles. The three hamstring muscles are biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. Semimembranosus being the most medial of the three. They all come up to the ischial tuberosity. Okay. The um, moving even more proximately, you have the three gluteal muscles: gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. Gluteus maximus, the largest muscle of the body by mass, is most superficial. And then underneath that, you have gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. Deep to that is the piriformis. The piriformis is the deep lateral rotator of the hip. Okay. Also, we have the abductors. The, those are the three muscles that abduct the leg, make the leg go out, away from the midline, abduction, okay? The two muscles that we already went over, gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, are also abductors, okay? The third abductor is the tensor fascia lata, okay? It's very much, almost, it's anterior, actually, it's over here, okay? Connected to tensor fascia lata, is the iliotibial tract. That is the tendon that abducts the leg. All right? It's attached to tensor fascia lata and comes down to the uh, knee. All right? So we have in review gastrocnemius, soleus, hamstrings, Biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, the gluteal muscles, gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. We have piriformis, the deep lateral rotator of the hip. We have the abductors, abduction, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, tensor fascia lata, and then we have the iliotibial tract. Those are the posterior leg muscles. The coloring book is another resource that you're going to use to learn the anatomy for circulatory massage. Here are the specific pages that you need to go over for this section. On page 59, you have gluteus minimus, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, piriformis, tensor fascia lata, iliotibial tract. On page 60, biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, the hamstrings. On page 64, you have gastrocnemius and soleus. The most superficial muscle of the posterior distal leg is gastrocnemius. The muscle just deep to gastrocnemius is soleus. The three hamstring muscles are biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. The three gluteal muscles are gluteus minimus, gluteus medius, and gluteus maximus. The deep 
lateral rotator of the hip is piriformis. The three muscles that abduct the leg are gluteus minimus, gluteus medius, and tensor fascia lata. The tendon that insists in abduction of the leg is the iliotibial tract. At Healing Hands, we have created this practice guide to help you learn the anatomy for the circulatory class. It is available for download in the study resources section of this page. Keep in mind that this is a new language and just like learning a musical instrument, the more you practice, the more fluent you are. There is space for you to write the answer for each part of anatomy that you need to learn. Remember, write it down, copy it, and copy it again.